Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you another video and there's a really hot topic of discussion going on around Manchester United. And no, it's not the incoming arrival of Paul Pogba. It's the future of Bastian Schweinsteiger. Now, it's reported that Jose Mourinho has forced him out of the team. He's uh, basically made him train with the reserves, move his locker into the reserves because he doesn't fit in his plans. And obviously a lot of media outlets have got in on it and so have rival fans. And uh, obviously there's split debates within Manchester United, like the fans, saying whether it's a good idea, whether it's a bad idea. So I'm just going to offer some of my thoughts. So let's look at the facts. Obviously I've just said what has happened with Bastian Schweinsteiger, but um, the facts are we have many central midfielders at the club. We have And Herrera, we've got the incoming arrival of Paul Pogba, we have Morgan Schneider, <coughs> pardon me, Michael Carrick, uh, Marouane Fellaini. And uh, I know Marouane Fellaini gets scapegoated a hell of a lot by Manchester United fans, but I've said this on Twitter, I'm not sure if I've said it in a video, but I hope he stays personally. He's a different style of player, and uh, he's good when he's used as a rotational option, not a focal point. And if you look, he's actually had some very important goals in his Manchester United career. One, that secured us Champions League football. Uh, obviously that was the season before last because we're not in Champions League this year but a couple of others as well he scored two in the lead uh, lead up to the FA Cup final which again were very very important goals so he can score important goals so if you if you set aside the name the the names that I've just said of the midfielders all of them have underperformed but apart from Michael Carrick I would say he, he was the only one that I, even he's had some performances that aren't great but I would say he's the only one that's been very consistent all the other ones and Herrera he was brilliant in his first year second year wasn't very good Morgan Schneidlin didn't have the best debut uh, season Marouane Fellaini obviously has some bad games I'm not disputing that but purely because I think he was used as a focal point like the number one option all the time and uh, Schweinsteiger he's had a couple of good performances but he's been very very injury laden as well people forget that and he's also on 200k a week that shouldn't really matter to the club you know we've got the lowest wage expenditure in the entire league I think it's under 50% it might be slightly over that when Pogba arrives but still we, we earn a hell of a lot of money so that isn't really a big talking point but the injury is his injury record and uh, you also look at a lot of stories. These weren't just random stories that appeared. A lot of stories that appeared at roughly the same time, indicating the papers had the same source that was telling them this. And uh, Schweinsteiger, apparently the squad last season got very annoyed by the preferential treatment that Schweinsteiger was getting, particularly when he was injured. L uh, Van Hal would let him go for long periods at a time for weeks and weeks on end to go back to Germany. So when people say he's great for leadership, he's great for all this, I'm sure he is when he's with the squad, but a lot of the time when he was injured, he was in Germany. He wasn't focusing on recovery. He was taking his time. You know, age catches up with footballers. Schweinsteiger is now 31. Of course, there's exceptions to this rule. Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, these are, are stars that are still going over their 30s. They're still performing to world-class standards. And that is terrific, but not every single player can do this. And um, it seems as though injury and fitness are catching up with Schweinsteiger, which is probably why we got him for so cheap from Bayern Munich. We got him for 6.3 million. And at the time, I was delighted. Look, I've even got a Schweinsteiger shirt. Like, that was the away top last season. And I don't regret getting this, because he is a legend. And no matter what happens with his future, he's always going to be a legend. A Bayern Munich and a German legend. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as though he's going to hit that height at Manchester United. And uh, that uh, Jose Mourinho, as I've said, his injury record isn't great. His performances, he had a few good ones, but they were very, very hit and miss. And especially when he was played alongside Carrick or Fellaini, even Schneidlin, it, it, the midfield just lacked pace. And under Van Hal's system, it really didn't work. And as I say, Bayern Munich offloaded him. And at the time, every, obviously, you get excited when a big name joins your club. Fair enough, a lot of people said it wouldn't work. And it seems to be that way. It seems to be a legend coming towards the end of his career in terms of how, how he's world class. Because Schweinsteiger has been. He's been one of the best midfielders of our generation. Of course he has. But um, it seems as though he's coming towards the end of it. And his performance has kind of wavered. And uh, even last season, mm -hmm. when we signed him, we signed Schneidlin on the same day. We knew that he wouldn't be able to play every single game last season. And uh, that's why we got Schneidlin and Schweinsteiger on the same day. And uh, unfortunately, neither have worked out thus far. 
And Schweinsteiger, although I don't agree with banishing him to the reserves, I think that's a little bit extreme. You have to look at the situation. He doesn't want to leave Manchester United. You can understand why. He's on 200k. He's having quite an easy life at Man United. Even if he's going to be fifth, sixth choice starter, he may eventually get a few games. But I think he's relatively happy. And Jose Mourinho has made it abundantly clear he's not part of his plans. So letting him train with the first team and everything, letting him stay happy, it may... Like Schweinsteiger may just decide to stay, which could be good, but if Mourinho really doesn't want him and Schweinsteiger really wants to stay, you have to you have to force into drastic measures. So playing in the reserves, moving his locker, obviously his brother said no respect in a tweet and uh, mm -hmm. it kind of rings true. It, it, it's heartbreaking when a, a player like Schweinsteiger is being treated this way, but it may be for his benefit in the long run. If he moves to a team such as someone like Besiktas, for example, he might not be on ha as high a wage, but he'd be first team. He, uh, are they even in the Champions League as well? He might be able to play in the Champions League. Obviously, it's not what he wants, but mm -hmm. for his playing career, surely it's going to be better if he leaves because he's going to be fifth, sixth choice. Mm -hmm. uh, Mourinho's made that abundantly clear. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's heartbreaking, but I think the best decision for him is to leave. With Paul Pogba coming, he's a guaranteed starter. We've already got an experienced midfielder, someone who knows the club, who's been there for over a decade in Michael Carrick. Uh, he's 34, he's getting on, but he, he's still performing prior to Pogba's incoming arrival. He's been our best midfielder like for years, it, it's been crazy. We've got Ander Herrera, Schneidlin, who could flourish under Mourinho. They need to prove a little bit more. Fellaini, who's scapegoated a lot of the time, but uh, is a good different option. So we've got a lot of midfielders at the club. Fosu Mensa might eventually get moved into midfield as well. So we've got that option. So unfortunately, it doesn't look as though Bastian Schweinsteiger fits in. And um, one more thing. It's funny rivals getting it, putting their nose in this, calling him a legend, when two months ago they called him a flop. You can't have it both ways. Of course, he is a legend, but it, it, it's as though... <laughs> the way they're speaking is though we're, put, um, we're banishing in prime Bastian Schweinsteiger when he was one of the greatest midfielders of all time. It's like we are doing that. We're not. He's coming to the end of his career, although I don't agree with everything that's going on, putting him in the reserves and everything. That they're acting particularly now as though he's like the greatest midfielder in the world, and that like it's such a such a bad decision of us selling him. When two months ago they were saying we should sell him because he's a flop. So uh, yeah, rivals obviously will will change their opinion depending on uh, what happens at the time. But that doesn't bother me. To be fair, I just find it funny. Like he's he's went straight from a flop back to a legend because he's about to leave. But um. We'll see what happens. I'm very good, but he he still left Manchester United. If when if and when he does leave, of course, he still left a winner. It might not be the greatest trophy in the world, but an FA Cup. He still won something in England, which is a lot more than a lot of players that have came to England can say. Might only be an FA Cup, but he's had some margin of success at Manchester United. So, you know, I'll keep this shirt, and honestly. I, I really love the player. He's one of my favourite central midfielders of all time just because he was so good for so long for Bayern Munich and for Germany. So, uh, yeah, well, he's Germany's most capped uh, player and obviously he's one of Bayern Munich's most decorated players. So, it's heartbreaking, but I think the best decision is for Schweinsteiger to leave. We've brought Jose Mourinho in to be ruthless. One last point. Ferguson did this with Berbatov. Berbatov didn't want to leave, so he forced him out, ultimately, and uh, at the time, he was very, very good. Well, the season before, he, he was very good, but he just didn't fit into Ferguson's plans. So he got rid of him. And uh, it's kind of a similar situation with Jose Mourinho. We brought him in to be ruthless. He's a winner. So we have to, if there's a decision that we don't like, we just have to go along with it and hope the manager has the best interests. The best managers make mistakes. Ferguson, Pogba, obviously, has been well documented. Jose Mourinho with De Bruyne in particular. Maybe Lukaku, but uh, De Bruyne in particular. So, managers do make mistakes, but I don't think this is one of them. And we've just got to trust Jose Mourinho's judgment. So, uh, let me know what your thoughts on the Schweinsteiger situation are in the comment section below. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.